Hey, this is Tim Flood from Rural Land Watch. I'm an experienced land investor buying and selling rural properties in Oklahoma. Every so often I encounter someone who wants to sell their Oklahoma property by themselves without the help of a realtor or sell it to me. In this series, I'm going to offer some pointers based on my experience that may help you to achieve your goal. <clears throat> These are going to be short instructionals that you can follow through to sell your land or just review the episodes most useful to you. The first question I want to go over is, how can I perform basic comps on my Oklahoma property? So that's a great question and I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, the thing to remember is that there is no one exact right number for every piece of land for every person. Uh, the value of land, where I'm gonna show you how to look for trends and patterns and give you some ideas, but ultimately uh, the land sale is really just a negotiation between you and one other person and how valuable is it to you versus how valuable is it to them. So uh, while there are some ranges and some stuff is certainly out of line and, and there's a continuum, it's a lot of shades of gray, but I'm gonna show you how to do that and how to look for those patterns. So what I do is just create a simple spreadsheet. And I just, uh, this one was from Murray County, Oklahoma. And uh, I just used uh, Landwatch, Lands of America, Realtor, Land and Farm, Zillow. Uh, you could use Redfin if you're in a more urban area. You can use Craigslist sometimes, but just whatever. You're just gonna take a sampling across the internet because people post their land. And again, we're just looking for patterns or trends. So in this case, uh, I'm going to take Lands of America and I'm going to say that I'm looking for land in Pontotoc County, Oklahoma, which is Southern Oklahoma. It's convenient to both, both DFW and Oklahoma City. So if I was looking for a little getaway, I would want to look in that area. So I just set my filters that I was looking for anything from five to 50 acres. Uh, in this case, I am not looking for a home. So I include no residents and then uh, available and under contract. And then what I'll do is uh, I just sort from acres small to large, and then I just start looking here and then I'll plug these numbers into the spreadsheet. So 27,000 for 9.6 acres, 27,000 for 9.6 acres, 2,800 an acre for that little parcel. So, and so forth and so on. And we'll just go down through here and just kind of see and you've got to look for anomalies and outliers. So there's five acres at 115. That's going to be quite a bit more expensive. That's very expensive, 23,000 land. So you want to look at that and kind of find out why. Uh, is your land something like this that's neatly manicured and closer to town? Or is it more like this? This is actually my property, by the way. Uh, this one's a little bit further out of town and a little bit rougher. Uh, so all these things you got to take into account. The, the key thing is like kind properties. So check this out. This uh, 10 acres here, 79,000 is 7,900 an acre, but this looks like good, good pasture. So do you have good manicured pasture? Uh, here's the county road access. That, look at that lovely pasture there. Here's this county road access we would look for, and you can see it's not overgrown with timber. Um, cattle grazing on it. So you just got to take all these things into account. And, and again, just come up with some generalities, plug, go through a bunch of listings, as many as you can find, plug them all into um, a spreadsheet so you can create some averages. And look this on this example here. Oh, well, I threw it out of skew with this one. Uh, so on this previous one I did, I um, uh, land watch, I came up with about 3,100 an acre, 2,700 an acre, and 3,500 an acre. So a little bit of a range there, right? So, but some, the, so the value of your land in Murray County, Oklahoma, is somewhere between 2,500 to 3,000 to 3,500 per acre. And then uh, I usually have a little thing in here for if I want to include a real lowball offer or something like that. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's just a spreadsheet and trends. And it all just comes from uh, different websites and uh, you can do Zillow and, and, you know, of course, everybody knows websites. So anyway, that's really all there is to it is just uh, scour the Internet, look for lands listed that are similar to what yours is, create a little spreadsheet, look for patterns, look for trends, and then, uh, you know, look for averages beyond that. So I hope this helps. Uh, this is how I look for uh, pricing and comps on rural land. 
And uh, this is Tim Flood with Rural Land Watch.